In manufacturing, using the right metal for the job is critical. But how do we know if a material is tough enough to handle the pressure? Today, we are revealing the secrets behind metal hardness testing. Every component, from car parts to appliances, needs to be built with the right metal. Here in manufacturing, we rely on hardness testing to ensure our metals can handle the real world. By understanding metal hardness, we can avoid costly mistakes and build products that last. Imagine a faulty engine component breaking because the metal wasn't strong enough. That's why we take hardness testing seriously. Metals that are too soft can bend, wear out quickly, or even fail completely. Hardness testing helps us ensure our metals meet the specific requirements for each product. A aeroplane engine needs a harder metal than a soda can, and a hardness tester tells us exactly what we are working with. So, how do we actually perform a hardness test? There are a few methods, but a popular choice is the Rockwell hardness test. This test uses a diamond-tipped indenter to press into the metal with a controlled force. The depth of the indentation tells us how hard the metal is. The Rockwell test is fast, reliable, and gives us a clear hardness rating. This helps us quickly classify different metals and ensure they meet the project's specifications. The Brinell test is another popular method for measuring hardness, especially for metals with rough surfaces or large grains. Unlike Rockwell, Brinell uses a hardened steel or tungsten carbide ball as an indenter instead of a diamond tip. The Brinell test works by pushing this ball into the material with a high force for a set amount of time. After the indenter is removed, we measure the diameter of the circular indentation left on the surface. By knowing the diameter of the indentation, the diameter of the ball used, and the applied force, we can calculate the Brinell hardness number. This number reflects how hard the material is. A larger indentation or bigger diameter indicates a softer material. Because it uses a larger indentation compared to Rockwell, it provides an average hardness across a bigger area of the material. This is particularly useful for materials with uneven surfaces or potentially inconsistent hardness throughout. However, there's a trade-off. The larger indentation also means the Brinell test leaves a more noticeable mark on the material compared to Rockwell. So, it might not be ideal for very thin or small parts. But the impact of hardness testing goes beyond individual products. Buildings rely on specific metal strengths to support their weight, and airplanes need incredibly hard metals to withstand the stress of flight. By ensuring metal hardness throughout the manufacturing process, we contribute to the safety and quality of the products you use every day. From your car to your phone, hardness testing plays a hidden but crucial role in our modern world. Thanks for joining us behind the scenes of metal manufacturing. If you are curious about other ways we ensure product quality, check out our video on how we test metal for imperfections. Click the card or subscribe for more manufacturing adventures.